Contingent from the English Department of the Citadel, stand up <laughs> so we can see you. All right. Thank you very much. We're delighted to, 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 to be partnering with you on this. We are also partnering, up very appropriately, with the Poetry Society of South Carolina. How can you talk anything about literature or the literary arts in South Carolina with at least, without at least bringing that name in at once? Uh, the Poetry Society of South Carolina, uh, one of whose uh, founding members was one of the first inductees into the academy. Uh, and you will recognize, anybody recognize the name DeBose Hayward? One of the first inductees into the academy uh, back in 1986. Uh, I hope you will notice that we have on the program tonight a silhouette by John Bennett, who is another founding member of the Poetry Society, uh, um, who was inducted into the academy also. Uh, we have with us tonight the president of the Poetry Society, uh, Susan Myers. If she, if she would like to come forward and say a word, we'd be happy to hear from her. I just want to tell you that the Poetry Society is delighted to be a part of this um, induction, this event. Um, we congratulate the Academy of Authors on, on uh, the event. And um, Jim Rigney was a member of the Poetry Society. He was actually, I think you would say, the, um, the, the first gentleman or the first spouse because his husband, his uh, wife Harriet, of course, was our, our president. And Jim was very enthusiastic um, about Poetry Society events. I remember well that, that cheer that he would give. Um, <laughs> uh, and. Um, so we're just so, so happy to be here. And I, I actually, I would, there are a number of Poetry Society members here, and I'd like to ask them to stand. Uh, Harriet, you know that you have a lot of friends here from the Poetry Society, and we, we uh, thank you. We are further delighted to be sharing the sponsorship this evening with the South Carolina Center for the Book, which has its headquarters in Columbia, and representing the center tonight are two individuals, our state librarian, David Goebel. David, if you'll stand and be recognized. And uh, Susanna Brailsford, who is with the Center for the Book, and she is going to say just a, a brief word. Susanna Brailsford. Uh, while she's coming, forward here. I have to say Susanna wears a number of hats, uh, one of which is not, only, is not only the Center for the Book, but she also has ties with the Humanities Council uh, and um, with the uh, Arts Commission. Thank you. As Tom said, I'm with the South Carolina Center for the Book, which is our state's affiliate of the Library of Congress Center for the Book and is a collaborative effort of the Humanities Council of South Carolina, the University of South Carolina School of Library and Information Science, and the State Library, where we're housed. And all three organizations are delighted to be a part of this event. It's an honor and a privilege. Our South Carolina Center for the Book mission is to celebrate South Carolina's rich literary heritage, and I cannot think of a better way than to be partnering with the Academy of Authors in honoring Jim Brady tonight. So thank you. Since I mentioned the Humanities Council, let me recognize Andy, uh, Randy Akers, who is uh, with us tonight. Uh, Randy, if you'll stand and be acknowledged. He's, uh, he's in his 20th year, Randy, doing a wonderful job for us in, in that position. So we're delighted that you could join us tonight, uh, Randy. I need to uh, say that the Academy, the Academy's Board of Governors is not the Academy. We simply try to effect things, the effect the happening of things and to organize things. But the Academy of Authors is made up of the authors. <laughs> the 47 authors who have been inducted, they are the Academy. And um, 
there are eight living members of the Academy, and I, I should mention them just so you know who they are. Um, Matthew Bruckley, the Fitz, F. Scott Fitzgerald scholar who lives in Columbia and university professor. Pat Conroy, have you heard of Pat Conroy before? Josephine Humphreys, John Jakes, Ennis Reese, former poet laureate of South Carolina, lives in Columbia. Louis Rubin, Dory Sanders, and Mark Stedman. These are the living members of the Academy. And I, I have been in, we have been in touch with them, and, I, and they would have been here if they could have been. Um, but some of them are ill, some of them are, are away on trips and could not get here. I know that Dory Sanders was going to come, and she had illness in the family and couldn't get here. And also, in talking with Louis Rubin, he asked specifically to be remembered to the audience tonight.